what's going on? This is Zach Wilde, Black Label Society. We've got a new album coming out, Doom Crew Incorporated, on Black Friday, which would be November 26th. And we're all doing a hang on Loudwire. There you go. Well, I mean, the first... When I was actually able to play that lick, I mean, that was like a major breakthrough. But then, you know, like uh, well, my guitar teacher, Leroy Wright, I remember him showing me, you know, like, how it all, and then, you know, all the scales that connected to it. You know what I mean? Then, you know, and that. Like wow, it all it all connects together. You know what I mean. So then that's when things started kind of making sense. So um, probably back in black, and I remember uh, I would probably uh, tangerine. A Zeppelin was like the first like chord song that uh, that I learned. But then you know like finding uh, like with, with uh, Spirit of the Radio, and you know I'm I'm thinking I'm learning it like that, and not because you I you know because you can't hear the open strings. You know I'm just saying my ear didn't know at the time. Now, those are probably. The three major breakthroughs for me, you know, what I mean, like that I of, of guitar moments where I was like, oh wow, I can I can hear that. But uh, yeah, so that would be my big three right there. You know, I I think with everybody, you, you know, the more the more you start doing it, the, the more you you know whether it's you know, I mean, just trying to you know even down to something. Just holding it, you know what I mean? Where you get like, you, you can't, you, you, you know, your index finger, you start bending all the strings or whatever. But I mean, uh, it, the more you just, like anything, you just practice it, it the better you're going to get at it. You know what I mean? Like any of my friends, you know, practicing triplets or whatever, you know, it might be all clumsy in the beginning, but then eventually, you know, gack it, gack it, and you get it smoother and smoother and smoother, and then. And you got it. So it, it just applies pretty much to everything. Just knowing your fretboard and knowing, and you know, different keys. You know, that was another thing too. Or, you know, I would sit around and just learning all the different positions and stuff like that. So like we're in F sharp, it's it's over here. You know, I mean, then, then when you're in G, it's a, it's a whole other thing. You know what I mean? So, and and but just learning where all the positions are. You know what I mean? So, but um. Yeah, that would pretty much be it, you know what I mean? But And then obviously learning all your favorite records and, and solos by all your favorite players. Everybody's personality comes out in their playing eventually at some point, you know what I mean? I'm saying your vibrato and, and everybody, you know what I mean? Like when I'm on stage with Tosin, Ingve, Steve, and, and Nuno, I, I could be back getting in catering, getting some food. The, immediately when I, as soon as I hear any of them pick up a guitar, I I don't have to go up on stage and guess who's playing. I mean, and and that's within a matter of notes, I, two notes. I I can tell Tosin, Ingve, Steve, or Nuno from a mile away. So it's just like as soon as I hear them play, two seconds. I, I'm like, you know, it's Nuno jamming. And when I first joined Oz, though, I mean, one thing I did do, I was just like, all right, let me, like you said, like the, the funny thing. It's just like, well, how am I going to be me? You know what I mean? So it was just like. All right, well, if you don't want to sound like Ingve, because you got to figure this is 1987, 88. I was like, you don't want to, you don't want people saying, oh, what are you, you, you an Ingve clone or what? It's like, well, then get rid of harmonic minor, and get rid of sweet picking. Don't, don't do it if you don't want to get compared to them. So, it's just like, and then you don't want to do, you, you, you know, you don't want to get compared to Eddie Van Halen. Don't have stripes on your guitar and don't, don't tap. You don't do it. You know what I mean? And then, you know, and. So I just crossed off even down to whammy bars, just so uh, you know. So just it, it would force you not to have. So you have to think of something else. So it was just like no harmonic minor, no tapping, no. And then I was like, well, I won't do the classical thing either, because I mean that's Randy's thing, and now I'm playing with Ozzy, so we'll, we'll get rid of that. Then we'll get rid of the whammy bar, and then it's just like no, pretty much almost got rid of like three notes of string, all the diatonic stuff. 
So I was just like, because everybody was doing it. So it was just like, all right, well, what's left? Basically pentatonic scales and chicken picking. And I just love the sound of it anyway. You know, I'm, you know which, I mean, just because it's so musical. It's just musical sounding, you know what I mean? So it was just like a chicken picking type stuff and just pentatonics, you know what I mean? So it'd be like, you know, taking all the crayons out of the, you know, I got 60 crayons to work with and just leaving me with like four crayons and see what you can do with four crayons. That's what I did, you know, obviously in the beginning with Ozzy. So, I, and I forced myself to have to see what you can come up with, use pentatonic scales, because no one's really using them right now, because everybody was going more the Ingve route and using three notes of string and, harmo and tons of harmonic minor and sweep picking. So I was just like, just to, you don't want to get compared to that, just don't do it. You don't want to get compared to other hair metal bands, don't, don't, Tease your hair up. I remember uh, my guitar teacher, uh, Lee Wright, right when, when I, I guess we were doing, you know, it was like Tush or LaGrange or whatever. You know, with all the, I mean, and, you know, and obviously Billy's doing it on, on the G and the D string and stuff like that, or and the B and stuff like that. But I was like, I was like, what is that sound? Like, you know, how you, and, I'm like, oh wow, cool. So, but like, obviously, getting in the studio with Oz, and then when you know, you'd have something like that. But when you double it, you know, and then it was in. I was like, wow, that's when that that's when they really pop and they really came alive. Yeah, and that's when I just started doing them. You know what I mean? But it's just like, uh, and just because they sound cool. Uh, the first riff I wrote for uh, for Oz, Miracle Man. You know, and then I, and I mean, I got the fingering. I mean, it's, you know, it's, it's Foxy Lady. Just, I mean, that's how that came about. But I mean, I'm, you know, just messing around with it. And then, and you know, like how, like everybody always says, you know, something comes from somewhere. You know what I mean? And Jimmy, Jimmy Hedges would have probably said, yeah, Zach, I got that from this thing. You know what I mean? I love, uh, I mean, with Randy, I mean, obviously Over the Mountain, Flying High Again, I mean, just a song. But, I mean, obviously, I don't know. You know what I mean? But I mean, with Jake, I love Bark. I love Rock and Roll Rebel. But yeah, but I mean, with Randy, obviously, everything off of, you know, Believer, I always thought it was like really great. I mean, it's really dark and stuff like that. But uh, Believer, all of it, really, you know what I mean? But those but those riffs in particular, though. You know, like, I mean, obviously with the with the new album, you know, Set, me, set You Free, and we were just uh, talking about it before, you know, because I've seen some people playing it, and it's like... Uh, it's, it's funny, because it's just like... You know, just like with the Rush thing, how we were saying, you know, until I, and that the way, and it's like, no, no, no. It's like, oh, you can hear the open string. I've seen people playing it, you know, just on Instagram or whatever. It's not that, you know, because you got, when you might, right? So it's, Like, even when I learned, like, War Pigs, I was like, what are those chords, you know, because I couldn't, you know, when you're first learning, you, you're like, what is that, you know, it's a major third, but you're hearing it, but you're just like, how is he doing that, you know, you know, what is that sound? And, you know, I remember that, that was like a major breakthrough when I actually learned that, I was like, what, is, how is he getting that sound, you know? But, you know, like, I mean, a lot of the riffs that are on the record, mm -hmm. as simple like once again I'll just give you four crayons and see what you can come up with I mean that's how uh, pretty much everything is you know even on a new record or just the majority of all black labels so you know still born it's we're talking one note now you know what I mean 
So I, you mean, <laughs> not even getting down to two notes, one note, a little pride and glory, I guess, right? The, the the PNG stuff and then uh picks flying everywhere. Hold on a second. And then we'll go uh, once again. That's always the best when you drop a pick <laughs> and it just goes into another dimension. I mean, off the new record, you know, talking about like simple, just simplicity and chord voicings. You know, with the the uh, end of days. Same thing with the, the whole war, with the war pitch thing. Gospel of Lies. Favorite souls go like Darkest Days on the Book of Shadows uh, two album. Really think that one came out really good. But uh, and, you know it's a super long solo, so you got you got to keep it interesting throughout the whole thing. But obviously you'd have to say No More Tears, got to be one of them. And then obviously with Oz, I guess Miracle Man, uh, Mama I'm Coming Home. And usually what I'll do is you sit down on my little homework CD. And I just sit down with the backing tracks and I'll just and just work out a solo. So, you know, it's like the St. Ru St. Rhodes University of Soloing. So it has a beginning, a middle, and an end. You know what I mean? It's just the other great souls or Hotel California or Stairway to Heaven. You know, it's just if you're playing that song and you're in a cover band, you have to do those solos. And you know, every night with Oz when I'm playing whether I'm playing Jake's stuff or I'm playing Randy's stuff, you gotta do those solos. Uh, yeah, the Aussie tour right now, we're supposed to be getting ready for rehearsals in January. That's the game plan right now. Uh, to get, you know, to get the boss back out on the on his lifting platform so he could do his, you know, his world-class numbers of uh, his squat, deadlift, and bench press. Mm -hmm. 